Hey everyone, this is One Man Zerg with the UEN.com giving you a tip today on how to properly defend your base with siege tanks. So, sieging a ledge to defend your base, defensive sieging, all that good stuff. Uh, right here, you can see QXC, a really high level, really skilled Terran player, also very fun to watch, is fighting against Machine, who's also a very high level player and is also very fun to watch. And QXC here has this middle high yield uh, base on Metalopolis, which is really important to control, especially in the late game. You can see it's a pretty busy map right now. And um, he really wants to hold this base from the Zerg Force. So what he's done is he's set up a lot of units, a lot of siege tanks. You can see all these scattered ranges. And then a lot of marauders and some marines and some medevacs to help with all that. So what he's done here that I want to start off showing you is that these tanks are layered. So there's some up here, there's some here, there's some here, there's some in the back. So there's several layers of these tanks. And you can see all these crisscrossing range areas. So what this is going to do is that as the opponent enters, he's going to get hit here, 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 here. So they're going to get whittled down with the ranges. And also, if an opponent's here, he can still be effectively shot at by these tanks. So if your front line goes down because they're bringing in a lot of troops, you still have your back lines to support them. Also what he's done is he's intermixed troops with his siege tanks. So when the first lines of troops hit, they're going to hit these troops as well as the siege tanks. So the heavy damage siege tanks are going to be protected from these other troops. And the medevacs can also help to heal those troops and keep them there longer. And you can see Machine here has a lot of troops. He's got some infestors, probably some fungal growth, some hydras that he'll likely want to keep in the back, and then some um, ultralists are in banelings. The ultralists are those big heavy hitting tanks that he has. And then the banelings are just great for splash damage and breaking some barricades. They're effective especially on light units, so no, it might not be so effective here. So um, let's see how this plays out. I've slowed it down just a little bit from normal game speed. So you can see these units are, are out here and they're getting engaged by these um, far, far reaching tanks with their 13 range. And then QXC brings out his troops and stims them so they can also help to bring down these uh, incoming enemy troops as they're here, as well as provide that buffer zone for those tanks. So he's blasting away at these troops and he's taking those Baneling Blasts as much as he can using his siege tanks. You can see this front line is getting fungal growth, he's getting crashed into by these Ultralisks, but this back line is still able to pummel away, and all these troops are getting stuck in this zone. They were slowed down a lot by a lot of those first kind of sacrificial troops that's very necessary in these big battles, and then these back tanks can still blast away. And so by layering those siege tanks and having those early stopper units, be able to effectively kill that incoming army as huge as it was because he's properly layered, he's properly positioned his troops, and he's holding firm to that position and not trying to retreat. So I hope that works well for you. Um, a couple other things I'd, I'd like to say is if you have an early base, so this is a middle base, this is a very big ramp, but if you have a base over here that you're trying to defend, if you put your siege tanks right around this area, that's really effective because then your opponent who's walking around into your base will get blasted all the way there as well as if he has ranged troops and if he can see him this is a pretty good range where his troops won't be able to attack your tanks unless they get right up next to it which is very hard or you could put your tanks just slightly back so even the six range troops have to actually get in your base but um it's a trade-off the farther the closer they are to the ledge the more early hits they can get in the farther they are away the safer they are um so what do you want to do with that you want to once again probably create that layering effect and uh, decide what's best for you in that position. Do you need your tank for sure to hold this choke, or do you want your tank to get in some extra early damage? Uh, I hope that tip works well for you. If you like this tip, go to the UEN.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel, the UEN TV. Thanks for listening.